I would like to welcome you to my channel, KetoMealsAndRecipes.com, and I'd also like to thank you for choosing to watch this video. Today I'll be sharing with you my sugar-free, gluten-free, low-carb, clean keto version of a Japanese bean sprout salad, aka Moyashi Ohatashi, which I'm absolutely sure I mangled and I apologize. I think you will really love this quick and easy sprout salad that is nutrient dense and really tasty, which you can serve as a side dish with almost any Japanese or Asian entree or actually any main dish because this crispy bean sprout salad complements beautifully any meat or fish entree. Before continuing, I have a favor to ask. If you like my videos, please share the video with someone that you think might also like my recipes. Lately, I've noticed that I've had a lot of new subscribers and to all of you, welcome. And to all of you returning viewers, thank you very much for showing your support. Okay, back to the recipe. Also, for your information, the macronutrient ratio for the Japanese bean sprout salad is 1.5 to 1 with 9.8 grams of total carbs, 3.5 grams of dietary fiber resulting in 6.3 grams of net carbs for a very generous serving for two people. But if you intend to also have a second or third vegetable, reduce this to four servings, which will of course cut the calories and carbs in half. After gathering up all of your ingredients, which you can see are just a few of them, and all of these ingredients you can find in almost any grocery store. Now to get cooking. Before blanching the raw bean sprouts, toss the sprouts into a colander and rinse them under cold running water. And then set it aside so they drain while you bring one liter or about four cups of water to a brisk boil in a soup pot. When you notice that the water is boiling very vigorously, drop the rinsed bean sprouts and cook in boiling water for two minutes. This will get them to an al dente or crispy stage. Do not overcook. You want the sprouts to be crispy for this salad. Then immediately drain the bean sprouts and let the sprouts rest in the colander for five to 10 minutes. This will allow the water to drain from the sprouts and for them to cool a bit. As the sprouts are draining, I have enough time to dry roast my sesame seeds to a light golden stage. Now it's time to make the salad dressing. First, cut your green onions or scallions into small pieces and toss them into a salad bowl. Pour in toasted sesame seed oil, drop in the minced garlic, and also pour in the rice vinegar, your gluten-free, sugar-free tamari, to the same bowl, add the dry roasted sesame seeds and your sweetener, which by the way, you should grind to a fine confectioner powder. It'll blend more easily. Then stir well to combine. And that's all there is to making the salad dressing. By now your sprouts are nice and cool. So transfer them from the colander to a nice serving bowl. You may notice that they're still a little bit warm, but don't worry, it's okay. Now get your prepared salad dressing, pour it on top and toss the salad dressing with the sprouts so that all the bean sprouts are covered with the salad dressing. And before serving, place the bowl with the bean sprout salad in the refrigerator. You want it to chill for about 30 to 60 minutes. And that's because the salad is actually best when it's served cold. And lastly, before serving, you can garnish this bean sprout salad with a light sprinkle of green onions. By the way, if you have any leftovers, just cover the bowl with cling wrap and keep it in the refrigerator for a maximum of 24 hours. Although this salad will keep in the fridge for about three days, after the first day, the bean sprouts will absorb more of the salad dressing and soften. I actually don't mind the softer version of the salad either, so I make extra and have it in my fridge for three days. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this Japanese bean sprout salad is perfect with several different entrees. For example, it's perfect with my teriyaki chicken, or the teriyaki steak. And I, yes, I do have a video for how to make gluten-free, sugar-free teriyaki sauce and glaze. All the links to everything I mentioned are in the description box below. 
And if you like Japanese recipes, I will be making more Japanese entrees and desserts in upcoming videos. So please come back when those are posted. If you have a moment, leave me a comment of what kind of recipes you like. Do you like Japanese recipes or what you would like me to feature more on this channel? I appreciate that you have taken the time to watch my video. Have a wonderful day and I hope you come back when I post my next video. Until next time, cheers!